Nera, Botana, 500 Nera, Smoa, Smoa, 500 Nera. Before you know the book, big Meshai. If the oil in Nigeria cannot work for its citizens, then something else must be done. The focus of this objective is simple. The leadership of the NMPC has lost its focus. The leadership of, e of the NMPC has lost its initiatives. Therefore, it should be scrapped, starting from the head, Mr. Melekiari. I am a lawyer. We are all exercising this right, flowing from the constitution of the Nigeria. We feel pain. All Nigerians feel pain. Both the security operatives feel pain. The business mogul feel pain. Civil servants are more pain than us. They are taking home so that they can no longer take them home. Nigeria has the resources, the skill, and the capacity to, refuel, to refine its own fuel. We should not, and we must not, be reliant on imports that compromise our economy. Our sovereignty and our well-being, the time has come to revitalize our refineries, to restore our capacities to refine fuel domestically and to protect the interests of the Nigerian people. We are tired of issuing a, a, a oil license to friends, colleagues and cronies and politicians who prioritize their profit over the interests of the Nigerian people. Gentlemen of the press, you are all stressed. Since security operatives, their salaries are, are very like, poor as, comfort, as, as when the uh, uh, transportation is, is removed from it. A lot of Nigerians are here on their own to drive home their demand. We call for immediate, the immediate, the immediate resignation of the group managing director of uh, this corporation so that the people of Nigerian citizens could enjoy their own resources. There is no how that we will be crying for poverty in the midst of abundance. There is no how that we will continue to live in the life of penury in the midst of abundance. This is not just a fuel crisis. It is a crisis of responsibility and accountability. Fellow Nigerians, it is not just a demand for fuel. It is a demand for dignity, for sovereignty, and for better future. Our voices must be heard and our demands met and our rights also respected. Let today be a turning point. Let it be known that we will no longer accept excuses or empty promises. We demand an end to fear queues in Nigeria, and we will not rest until our demands are met.